Hi, in this lesson I'm going to do my best to explain rock and roll by Led Zeppelin. I'm going to look at the last uh, drum solo at the very end of the song, the quick sort of 10 second drum solo. Um, there's many interpretations of this, hopefully I'm going to get you pretty close to what he's playing and by the end of the lesson you should be able to play exactly what he's playing note for note. For. So the first bar is just going to go one, two, three, a four. So you're coming in on the A4. Bar two, another very simple bar. We've got So bat boom bat boom bat ba ba boom boom one and two and three and a four and so coffee coffee pineapple coffee okay Now leading into that we get a rough of some sort. Now it's it's hard to hear on the CD whether it's a Four stroke rough or three stroke rough. Now I'm going to play a four stroke, so I'm going to play three beats before the, the main note on the snare drum. So in other words, I'm going like a one, a one. So starting my left hand. Um, if you think it's less nice than that, play less. So just maybe do two. And a one. next section is hertz. Now, anyone who doesn't know what hertz is, just think of this pattern. Very quick, slow, very quick, slow, very quick, slow. It's just a rhythmic pattern. Very quick, slow, very quick, slow, very quick, slow, very quick, slow, very quick, slow. Play the singles. And we're going to take those hertz, we're going to take the last beat of those hertz, the slow, very quick, slow, we're going to make it a bass drum. So very quick, bass, very quick, bass, very quick, bass, very quick, bass. So three quick 30 second notes with the hand, one sixteenth note with the bass drum. Now we're going to voice it around the drums using um, snare, tom one, floor tom, then kick drum. So this pattern. Now, playing that part is only half the battle. The hard part is understanding the interpretation. Now this part of the song, um, in my opinion, this does um, six of these hertz in a 32nd note and 16th note pattern. Now what that means is it's really difficult to understand where the downbeat is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down into three beats. So if this next bar, you imagine it's a three, four bars, three counts, one, two, three, and we stop on beat four, then what we get is we get four of these hertz in that, in that area. So I'm going to do it with a metronome and make, make a lot more sense to you, I think. So one, two, three, stop. Okay, so that's your next um, three beats done. Now, as I said, there's, there's not four of those hertz. There's actually six of them. So the next part goes across the bar line. Now, all you need to do is think of that as A. And then section B starts with two more of those hertz. And then a triplet. A linear triplet. So linear three, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, bass. One of those coming onto the snare drum like this. So onto the snare. Now, the, I want you to practice, practice this linear pattern. Or you need to practice the, this linear pattern to get this um, up to speed before you can put these two sections together. And it's simply right, left, bass in the same spot I've just showed you. Then two on the snare, right, left, bass, and that continues. Right, left, bass, right, left, bass. We then put this much of that, so you can count that as three linear threes, one, two, three, four, and release on beat four after two of those hertz. So, so da 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 I'm going to 
put that together now with the, the four previous hairters. Uh, so, as I mentioned a few times now, four hairters plus the two hairters plus the three triplets. Now, up to speed. Now, we've got a, an ending now, again, nothing simple. We've almost got, we've got a pattern here that to me sounds like So in my head I'm kind of hearing that bra ba da da No, it can't, um, it's not a tight flam as in like cha da 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 it's almost a really wide flam or two 30 second notes, so, or 64th notes, it's hard to hear, but you've got ba da ba da da So I'm thinking of this, bra da 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 ba da 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 And that's on the snare jump. The final part of the uh, the fill is is this one, two, three, four. So this time we're doing the same pattern, but it's not a hair We're doing a single stroke four. So single stroke fours, four beats right next to each other. Kick a dot, kick a dot. Making the last one the bass drum and voicing like this. And that one's going to be a little bit faster than the others because it's um, it's closer to that bass drum. Because gum, because gum, it's, it's more like a rough. Okay, so we're going to run the whole solo now. Okay, with a metronome, I'm going to do this uh, fairly slow. Now, those who listen to this uh, listen to this a lot will soon figure out that the gap between um, bars three, two, and three. So this bar where we play this, and then where we play, it's almost like it's been shortened. All right. So that bar there, I'd approach playing like this, and come straight in with that next part. So da dum da dum da da dum dum da 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 da